you know in Kenya or in Africa at large elections are very gruesome and expensive immediately I won I was taken through a very expensive mesmerizing disturbing expensive litigation process uh, fortunately this morning we are delivered out of it uh, it hasn't been easy it has been destructive and uh, as you must have heard we have won the election though it has thrown us out of kelter nevertheless we are duty bound to make sure that we don't rest on our laurels we must keep going and deliver on whatever we have promised the people of Wajia North and the entire Wajia County and Kenya. Being a member of parliament means representing the country as is constitutionally espoused, not necessarily Wajia North. So it's a pleasure for me this afternoon. I'm renewed, energized to hit the ground and make sure that I deliver on whatever I have promised for the people of Wajia North. What I want to tell, what I want to tell people of Wajia North, this is not, this is just a confirmation of our win on 9th August. It is for the entire Wajia North. It is not clan based. I was elected by all the people of Wajia North across the matrix, across, across the clan configuration. So no doubt, this is a win for Wajia North in entirety, from Danawa, Bute, Gural, Buna, Korondile, Batalu. Here is their member of parliament. It's time to bond, time to move forward, and disapprove, not out of hate, but based on work. My predecessor. He is my brother. He felt. Uh, his loss was not legitimate. We were vindicated by the court. And uh, the election has been conducted above board. We are in, a very, in the midst of a very biting drought. I ask His Excellency, my president, who is my close friend, His Excellency William Samoy Ruto, to declare this drought a national disaster. Today it was reported in Garcen location in Garcen constituency, two youngsters, aged 10 and 12, were lost. Imagine because of thirst. At this point in time, in the 21st century, we are losing Kenyans because of lack of water. The government is still nascent, very new. I'm optimistic, he's result oriented. He has the people at heart. But really, what is with us is climate change, which is global. We need to change tact. We have to go for dry land farming. We must make sure that with the onset of the rains as we expect them in March, April, May, we don't lose the entire runoff to the Indian Ocean. That will be a big mistake that always happens in Kenya. We must harvest that water to make sure that there is availability of water. I know it is a right to access water, food, and many other basics in the Constitution, but the government cannot deliver on all this wholesome and in one point, at one point. It has to be realized progressively. But what comes first? Water comes first, even before food. So my request to His Excellency the President, I know he's so concerned. 24-7 he is thinking. Scratching his head to make sure that he delivers on his promises. He says what he actually he does whatever he promises majorly. So mine is to ask him we harvest water so that we forestall the recurrence of another drought next year. It used to be a cycle of four years. These days it is with us every year. Every year. So the drought is a very dangerous thing. We have lost lives and livelihoods. People have been impoverished. I come from Wajia North. 99% of the livestock are lost. So you can imagine it is, as, in as much as I represent the hustlers, now we are all hustlers in Wajia North. There is no class issue. The one who had 1,000 goats 
has lost them entirely. The entire stock is lost. So we have to get back to the drawing table to redefine our focus and make sure that we target these people who are seriously affected by drought. It is my honest request and appeal to His Excellency the President to scale up, to scale up mitigating this drought. Declare it a disaster. In Kenya, I don't know why we have to request the declaration of a disaster when the disaster is with us. It's a disaster. We are losing people now. Yesterday, it was livestock. I ask His Excellency the President, request him to immediately declare a disaster and make sure that all resources are refocused towards fighting this drought. If it is not done, we will be losing people.